Welcome to the fifth annual Adjust Your TV Hurricane Special. In this episode, should you work for another adjuster as an estimate writer, starting now. This is Adjuster TV, adjusters first. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Kaplik. Learn all about E&O and other insurance for adjusters at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. Okay, should you work for another adjuster as an estimate writer? This is, this is something that comes up and I think that there's um, some small amount of controversy with it. Personally, I'm not gonna do that myself, right? So, and, and to, just to kind of take a step backwards, what this really is, is you might see on social media opportunities or you hear, hear through a friend that you maybe you met at, at, at some orientation or some carrier certification or some I firm meet and greet event, right? Who calls you up and say, they say, hey, listen, um, I'm, I, want, I need you to, I'd like for you to come and just write claims for me. You're gonna, I, I rented an Airbnb, and there's going to be six other people writing estimates, and then me and two guys, or me and myself, or me and one other person, or whatever it is, we're going to go scope all day long, and then bring back these things, and you're going to write the estimates, and then we're going to go out and scope, and I'll pay you a day rate, or I'll pay you an hourly, or I'll pay you a whatever. It'd be a great experience for you. You're going to learn how to use Xactimate, um, and you're going to you know, get a chance to go on a storm and everything, and, it, and blah, 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 right? I don't... If I had to pick between doing that versus just getting my own claims and doing it, just doing my own claims, um, I'm going to pick doing my own claims. Um, however, you know, kind of thinking through this out loud, it may not be a bad opportunity as long as the person that you're doing this for is it's on the up and up, and that everybody knows that they're doing it, right? Because I think a lot of people will try to sort of shortcut this whole thing, and they're like, well, if I can make this much money doing claims on my own, then I can make this much money if I you know, delegate out and have a bunch of estimate writers and everything else, right? I think that there are pros and cons to that, and one of the cons certainly being that if, if somebody is hiring you as an estimate writer, they're hiring a few other people to write estimates, and they don't you know, have any idea whether or not you're any good at Xactimate, they're not caring as much about the quality of that file as you would if it was your own claim. You know, the, the, the flip side to that certainly is that you're, uh, it's not your claim, your name's not on it, right, hopefully. And if, it's, if it goes sideways or if it's, you know, it causes a bad customer service situation, then that person is, whose name is on all these files is going to be the one that's it's going to be their reputation. Um, so, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little bit on the fence about it. Um, I think if it's somebody that you know that would be, that is, uh, I would do it with, you know, if I was going to do it, it would, it would absolutely be with somebody that I knew had a good reputation in the industry and that wasn't like, this was also their first storm and they figured out a way to hack the system or whatever, right? Um, so, could be good experience, uh, but for me personally, I'm going to uh, prefer getting my own claims, certainly. I've never run claims like that before where I've had a bunch of people out there just sitting back at a hotel room or at an Airbnb just writing up the, everything that I'm scoping all day long. And uh, I've, I've never been an estimate writer for one of those people either, so I can't fully speak to that. But my resistance to it really kind of comes down to the quality of the file. And also, as an estimate writer, you know, they just thought of this, you're not going to have the benefit of having actually been at the house. So the estimate that you, that you write is only going to be as good as the photos that the person and the scope, hopefully they write you a scope sheet. The scope sheet and the photos that they give you, um, if they're a, a good um, adjuster and they write you a complete scope sheet, like when I write a scope sheet, I write, Every single line item that I'm going to, it's going, to, going to go on my estimate is on my scope sheet, and I write it out in Xactimate code, right? So if you were handed that and all you had to do is just transcribe that into Xactimate, maybe not such a bad deal. But if it's, hey, just uh, scope this, you know, I got the measurements of the rooms, and I wrote down basically what happened to them, and, uh, but then here's the photos and do the rest from the photos, right? That's, that's not a good way to do claims anyway, and I, don't, I think that being once removed from the house, having not even been there at all, um, I think would be problematic and I don't think it would be a great experience. Did you know that this is just a clip of a much longer video? To watch the whole show and for a chance to have your questions answered by me, become a member at adjustertvplus.com.